Bright Capital is designed with flexibility in mind, empowering you to adapt your approach for each client. With Right Capital's risk module and client-specific risk analysis, you can help clients better understand their own tolerance for risk and bolster their confidence in your individually tailored recommendations. In this training video, we're first going to touch on some key terms to know related to risk in Right Capital. We're then going to walk through an overview of the risk module in the advisor portal. And lastly, we'll dive deeper into the client-specific risk analysis found in the investment module of each and every client plan. The primary term to know and understand when it comes to risk in Right Capital is risk score. Right Capital uses a 1 to 100 scale to measure risk, with 1 being the least amount of risk and 100 being the most amount of risk. All of Right Capital's risk tools and assessments revolve around this 1 to 100 scale. There are a few different types of risk scores that we'll encounter as we begin to explore these tools. The first is the household risk score. This score represents a specific client household's tolerance for risk and is manually set by you as the advisor within the Score and Assessments tab of the client-specific risk analysis. The second is the current portfolio risk score. This score looks to the accounts that are entered into the Profile Net Worth section during the data entry process and represents how risky that client's investments actually are. Last is the risk assessment score which is the result of a risk tolerance questionnaire that is completed by a client. Each of these different scores operates on that same 1 to 100 scale. With this in mind, let's explore all of the risk analysis and assessment tools that Right Capital has to offer. We'll start by taking a look at the risk module, which can be found in the upper menu bar of your Right Capital Advisor portal. This is where you can view a summary of your client's risk metrics, create risk assessment questionnaires, and customize your risk tolerance categories. The summary tab is where we can find those risk metrics. The household page is going to display key risk information for all of your client households all in one table. This is going to show you each client's equity fixed income split, that current portfolio risk score based on the standard deviation of that client's investment portfolio, the date in which that client last completed an assessment questionnaire, the household risk score that you've assigned for that client, and last, the numerical difference between the risk score of their current portfolio and your chosen household risk score. The Portfolio tab is going to display risk scores, categories, and additional information for each one of your model portfolios. This includes the default Right Capital model portfolios, custom portfolios that have been manually created in the Models tab of your advisor portal, as well as any portfolios that have been imported via a third-party integration like Nitrogen. Just like the current portfolio risk score, model portfolio risk scores are calculated based on the standard deviation of the asset classes that make up that portfolio. The return, downside, and upside percentages are all calculated using your advisor-specific return assumptions. As a reminder, you can review and adjust your return assumptions within the More menu Assumptions tab of your advisor portal. The Questionnaires tab of the Risk Module is where you can create and edit risk assessment questionnaires before assigning them to a client to complete. Every Right Capital account will have this default risk assessment built in as a starting point. This is the Grable & Litton 13-item risk assessment. Feel free to use this with your clients or to make adjustments to it as you see fit. You can create your own custom questionnaires by clicking the Add Questionnaire button in the upper right. Each question can have up to 10 responses, and each response will need a corresponding risk value. After creating and publishing a questionnaire, those will be available to use within each client plan. We'll take a look at assigning questionnaires once we get to the client-specific risk analysis. The last tab in the Advisor Portal Risk Module is the Categories tab. By enabling this tab, you'll have the ability to create custom risk tolerance categories. This is your opportunity to align Right Capital's 1 to 100 risk scoring system with your unique perspective on risk. By default, there will be three risk categories, low, medium, and high tolerance. But risk categories are fully customizable. You can add new categories, rename each category, and adjust the upper and lower bands of each category to best suit your preferences. 
Do keep in mind that risk categories are an entirely optional classification. You can enable or disable these within the Risk Categories tab at any time. The last thing that we'll explore in this video is the client-specific risk analysis, which can be found in each and every one of your client plans. Start by navigating to your client list and opening up a particular client plan. Then click into the investment module and again into the risk area. This tab provides you with powerful tools to examine the risk of a client's assets, assign this client a risk questionnaire to complete, and help them better visualize the risk reward trade-offs of various portfolios and asset classes. Our first page here is the summary, which is going to give you three different charts to toggle between. The risk summary chart will show you that client's manually selected household risk score in relation to the risk scores of their current portfolio and a chosen target portfolio. The risk comparison chart will add three major asset classes for additional context and comparison. The household risk classification chart will show you where the household risk score falls in relation to your custom risk tolerance categories. Note that if you have categories disabled in your advisor portal, this chart will be hidden and you'll only see these top two charts. Before moving on, I want to mention that you can fully customize which assets are being factored into this client's current portfolio risk score by clicking into the action items at the bottom of the page and then clicking the edit button. Certain assets like annuities and bank accounts may not be included by default, but you can choose to include these if you'd like. The analysis page is going to load an interactive visual highlighting the potential annual range of returns for the client's current portfolio, your chosen target portfolio, and those three major asset classes. The upside and downside percentages here are based on a 95% confidence interval using your advisor-specific return assumptions. Use the legend at the bottom of the chart to highlight just the upside or just the downside. The score and assessments page is broken into two distinct sections. The risk score section is where you set that household risk score for this client. Adjustments made here will immediately be reflected in the summary tab charts, as well as within the advisor portal risk module. The risk assessments area is where you can assign this client a risk assessment questionnaire to complete. If the client is with you in person, you can begin that questionnaire right away. If not, you can save and assign it to be completed at a later time. If the client has been invited and has access to their financial plan, this option will allow them to complete the questionnaire remotely. Once an assessment has been completed, you'll be able to see the risk assessment score here on that 1 to 100 scale, as well as the date on which that client completed the assessment. Clients won't see these scores by default, but you can choose to share them if you'd like. Our last tab is the details page and this is where you can find the risk scores for individual assets within this client's portfolio. The assets displayed here will always correspond with the assets that are included in that client's current portfolio risk score, so you may not see every account and asset in the plan listed here. As a reminder, you can use the action items edit drawer to include or exclude accounts in a client's risk analysis. That's it for our overview of risk in Right Capital. As always, if you have any questions related to risk or any of the risk tolerance and assessment tools, please feel free to reference the Right Capital Help Center or to reach out to our advisor's support team for more details.